Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make rose water macaroons. So first up, you're going to make your rose water buttercream. So in a small bowl, you're gonna add some room temperature butter and some powdered sugar and whisk this up for about five minutes until it's nice and fluffy. Next, you're gonna add your melted white chocolate and some rose water and then continue whisking until it's all completely incorporated. And this is gonna be a really nice, full-bodied, clean and smooth buttercream. All right, so once you're finished up with your buttercream, it's on to making your rose-colored macaroon cookies. So in a medium bowl, you're gonna add one egg white and whisk it up until it's nice and frothy. Once it's all frothed up, you're gonna add your granulated sugar and continue whisking until you have a soft meringue. Uh, once that's done, you're gonna add your food coloring here. I'm using one drop of red gel food coloring and one drop of uh, pink gel food coloring to achieve this beautiful rose color. Um, once you have the color that you want, uh, continue whisking until you have semi-stiff peaks. Alright, so once the meringue is squared away, uh, sift all your dry ingredients into a separate bowl, give it a few stirs just so the almond meal and the powdered sugar are evenly distributed, and then start folding this into the meringue a half at a time. Uh, the consistency that you're going to be looking for out of this batter is sort of like a thick cake batter, and when you scoop some of it back into the bowl, it should flow fairly easily off the spatula. So once the batter is finished, put it into a piping bag fitted with a small round tip and start piping them out onto a baking tray lined with some parchment paper or with a sill pad and you want to make these as even as possible leaving a little bit of space in between so they don't run into each other. Um, and you're going to let this dry for approximately 15 minutes or so uh, but before you do that give it a few taps just to release any air that's caught inside the batter. Once the macaroons have rested for about 15 minutes, I'm going to throw them into a 300 degree oven for another 15 minutes and I'll rotate the tray about halfway through. But while we're waiting for those to bake, I'm going to macerate some raspberries with a little bit of sugar and some of the rose water. And this is going to be uh, sort of sandwiched right in between the buttercream and the macaroons. And it's going to be a nice little sort of berry surprise when you bite into the macaroons. So it's been about 15 minutes and these macaroons look absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pull them off the tray and let them cool down for a solid 30 minutes before I mess with them. But once they've cooled down, I'm going to flip half of them over and start piping out the rose water buttercream onto the flipped over side. Uh, once I've piped that all out, I'm going to put uh, one of the macerated strawberries right in the center of each of the uh, piped out uh, buttercream and then sandwich everything in between another macaroon cookie. Once that's all done, all there is to do is enjoy these beautiful rose water macaroons. macaroons look pretty good nice and floral I can almost smell the rose water in them just from here it's pretty strong um, but it's just a lovely rose flavor so these are great for Valentine's Day by the way it's a really nice little pink you know gift thing that you can give your girlfriend or your wife and it's uh, it's actually Rachel's favorite macaroon so she's gonna be really happy that I made these uh, but let me test this out mmm Really good, very floral, 
the raspberry that's coated with a little bit of the rose water and sugar uh, kind of adds like a little bit of acidity to it because of that very sort of tangy flavor. Sort of cuts through some of the uh, some of the sweetness and the fat of the buttercream. Oh, but it's just a killer macaroon. Mm. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe and comment below for future video requests and things you want to see on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time with some more delicious recipes. Bye, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.